Novak Djokovic will play Kay Nishikori in the next round credit, John Patrick Fletcher, Action Plus Karen Kachanov should have been worried as soon as he stepped onto court with Novak Djokovic at just before 7pm last night. Djokovic is never more dangerous than when on the receiving end of a perceived slight, and two days on from feeding off the center court crowds baiting to defeat Kyle Edmund, he now had the Wimbledon schedulers in his sights. Djokovic's slot of third on court number one to face Kachanov meant that for the second successive year he was facing the likely prospect of not finishing his fourth round on Manic Monday. Last year Djokovic was left furious after his last 16 match against Adrian Manorino was held over until the Tuesday, contributing to his retirement against Tomas Burdick a day later. But with the light fading and the wind billowing around the players yesterday, Djokovic said about his business with ruthless efficiency, Djokovic is into the last eight after seeing off Russia's Karen Kachanov credit, Reuters, Andrew Boyers he had 1 hour 45 minutes to play with once the match started if he wanted to finish before the light had entirely gone by 8.55 p.m. and that was precisely how long he took demolishing the Russian world number 40 Kachanov 6-4, 6-2, 6-2. It was a statement performance, and one that confirmed Djokovic is the man most likely to ruin hopes of Roger Federer and Nadal meeting in Sunday's final. He was certainly hugely relieved to get the win, and revealed afterwards that had the previous match between Kevin Anderson and Gail Monfils gone to a fifth set, then Djokovic and Kachanov's match would have been postponed until Tuesday rather than moved to center court. Djokovic diplomatically opted against questioning the wisdom of that decision, as it was Djokovic, a three-time winner here, was able to get the job done yesterday, even though he said afterwards that he couldn't really see at the end. It was getting very dark and that it was very windy throughout. To give a sense of the gloom enveloping SW19, Juan Martin Del Potro's match against Giles Simon on court three had been stopped five minutes earlier. Djokovic coped with the tricky conditions admirably, and said of his performance, I'm really happy the way I played against a player in form. I was really pleased with my second and third set. Really, really pleased, Novak Djokovic left shakes hands with Karen Kachanov right after his win on court one credit, John Walton, PA after dropping his serve in the opening game of the match, Djokovic played like a man in a hurry, desperate to avoid the potentially disastrous scenario of playing three days running. His anticipation was so good that Kachanov was finding his most powerful shots coming back at him almost before he'd finished his swing, it was like playing against a wall where the harder Kachanov hit the ball, the harder it came back at him. Kachanov did at least make the first set competitive, and Djokovic was so angered at his opponent leveling for 4-4 that he slammed his racket to the ground and smashed the ball away in frustration. The crowd briefly showed their displeasure. But from that point on Djokovic was at his mesmeric best, breaking to take the first set 6-4 and showcasing the peerless movement that has won him 12 grand slams. The way he flowed across the court was so smooth it was like watching a spilt drink spread across a table. By contrast, Kachanov, standing at 6 feet 6 inches and built like a rugby back row, has an approach more like that of a heavyweight boxer. He hits hard and goes for the jugular. If that doesn't work he hits even harder, not a profit from Wimbledon Djokovic was far better at changing the pace of his shots. Employing the backhand slice effectively, Djokovic bamboozled his opponent and moved him around the court like a puppeteer operating a marionette. On the final point of the second set, Kachanov was stretched to such an extent that he slipped ungainly to the floor. The symbolism of the giant being felt was lost on no one, least of all Kachanov who looked up to the sky hoping that the darkening skies could earn him a temporary reprieve. But on they went, with Kachanov, increasingly fidgety as the contest drifted away from him, unable to match the eye-popping intensity that Djokovic showed on almost every point, this is an area where the Big Four and the so-called Next Gen operate in a different universe. Kachanov said afterwards that when playing one of Djokovic, Federer, Nadal or Andy Murray, you feel it.
they have a much higher level still in all the aspects, with the light disappearing, Kachanov hit one last backhand into the net, as Djokovic celebrated earning himself the precious rest day ahead of tomorrow's quarterfinal tie against Kane Shikori. Wilden 2018 in pictures.